Hello folks and welcome to my channel. For today's project I'm using a 4mm crochet hook and a double knit yarn. Starting with the slip knot, chain 22. When your foundation chain is ready, chain 1 and make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Make another single crochet in the same space, so this is an increase. Make another increase in the next stitch. Now make two single crochets in the next two stitches. One and two. In the next stitch make an increase. Make another increase in the next stitch. Now make 10 single crochets in the next 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Now make two single crochets in the next two stitches. One, two. Make an increase in the next stitch and we're working a single crochet. Make an increase in the last stitch. Now chain two and turn your work. Make a half double crochet in the first stitch. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now make a single crochet in the next stitch. Make another single crochet in the next stitch. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Now make an increase. Now make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make two half double crochets in the next two stitches. One, two. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Make two single crochets in the next two stitches. One single crochet, then the second one. Now make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Make an increase in the next stitch.
Now make two half double crochets in the last two stitches. One and two. Now chain two and turn your work. Make an increase in the first stitch. We are working half double crochets. Make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Now make six half double crochets in the next six stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the next stitch. Make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make an increase in the last stitch. Chain one and cut off the yarn. Weave in the ends. Attach a new yarn at the start of the G over here and then work one single crochet for the entire length of the G.
When you reach the edge of the G, chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 3 single crochets in 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 3 single crochets in 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3. Now on the side of this we have to make our single crochets. So make another single crochet in the corner and then evenly divide all your single crochets to the side. When you reach the corner, make two single crochets and then make three single crochets to the inner side of the G. So this is the final look of the G. Just cut off the extra yarn and weave in the ends. So this is the final look of the G. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.